everyone, this is Denise with DR Escape, and we are here with Matt and Karen in um, Susua on the north coast of the Dominican Republic. And so we are here, and it is a joyous occasion because we have done a search on the north coast, and now we're at the point where Matt and Karen have actually closed on this beautiful property where they are now but we wanted to get to know them and to kind of see what was their journey and to to provide it for other people who might be in the same position so first i'm gonna ask a couple questions you know welcome um karen matt um how did you end up here in the dominican republic i know that you guys have been searching for a little while we originally looked um stateside for a retirement property or investment property and went to uh, Panama and we were really close to signing there and um, the very last minute we lying in bed and watching um, Caribbean Life Caribbean, on HGTV, on HGTV. Yay, that's great. And, um, and saw Denise actually and saw the homes here and the opportunities that are available to us here both for investment home or a you know, private residence here and really Karen reached out um, via email the very next day Exactly. Yeah, we found that the homes were, were not only um, more affordable, you know, our dollar would go, go further, um, the, the properties were more spectacular. The lifestyle so, that we're looking for was actually more here than it was in Panama. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, that, that, that is wonderful. So Karen did reach out to me and I reached out to her and we spoke. And then she was able to go on the uh, North Coast Discovery Tour. Karen, what did you think about that tour? Because Matt wasn't with us, but it almost seemed like he was with us because you were so <laughs> detailed and giving information to him. That's and, true. and so how, how did that tour go for you? Um, I highly recommend the North Coast Discovery Tour to anyone who's even contemplating it. Um, it gives you an opportunity to see the entire North Coast. Um, I know I initially had my heart set on getting a property in Cabrera. But after visiting Sasua and Cabarete, et cetera, um, I was able to settle on this home, which we've fallen in love with. Fallen like, love. immensely <laughs> fallen in love it's, with. It's um, but, you know, Denise was invaluable. You, uh, speaking of you in third person <laughs> as if you're not here. Um, you were invaluable with helping me make an informed decision about where we might want to live. Um, you know, contingent upon what we like to do as far as activities, location, proximity to airports, things of that nature. Um, I, I can't, it, it was wonderful. Um, you know, you spent so much time with us, um, you know, with me. Um, and with me by proxy. By I wasn't, proxy, yeah. <laughs> I wasn't here lots physically. Of pictures and videos and yeah, copious I, notes. I felt like I was here. Yeah. Um, Denise um, allowed Karen to send me, and they, I must have talked to her a thousand times a day. Yeah. Um, both from grocery stores or just in the, yeah. in the, in the neighborhoods, uh, at every home, yeah. at every home they, they visited. And, and it was a, a chore um, as far as finding the perfect one for us. But the beauty part of it, we gave Denise, okay, here's our parameters, mm -hmm. A, B, C, and D. And she led Karen and by proxy me to houses that fit A, B, C, and D. So it yeah. wasn't any wasted motion um, involved in it. Yeah, it, it was really invaluable. And just to see the community, to see where the hospitals were, um, you know, um, we don't have any school-aged children, but to see the international schools, supermarkets, um, supermarkets things mm -hmm. of that nature, things, you know, banks, etc. Banks, yeah. Um, she helped us uh, navigate the banking system as far as financing. It was just it was just a really wonderful experience. So what do you think, one of the main issues that a lot of people have when they're going to um, a foreign country, Country, international properties is the the safety factor how they feel um, um, accessibility to some of the same um, amenities the conveniences of, yeah. and mm -hmm. amenities mm -hmm. that they have at home how do you feel that the the north coast of the DR stacks up in comparison to the Panama which was the place that you were oh looking at? goodness there's absolutely no comparison actually um, we, there are more amenities here um, you know, and everyone has a, a different right. expectation for what you know what's suitable for them. Um, but you know, for something as suitable as like you know your typical Costco's or your WalMarts and things of that nature, we still have access to the same the same types of products and services. Um, you know, likewise with restaurants, restaurants, the social scene, the beaches. I mean, it's just it's really it's much better than the Panama experience. Um, mm -hmm. And and the logistical 
um, features of getting here are so much better. There's exactly. much more direct better, flights, yeah. um, quicker commute times. We're literally, we timed it 13 minutes from the airport. I mean, it's just, you can't beat it. Where in Panama, it was literally a day and a half to a two-day experience to get to the beach <laughs> property was. we were right. about and, to sign on. And as far as security, um, yeah, that's important. Yeah, it really equates to the United States. Uh, and in some aspects, is I feel more secure here yeah. than at home in the United States. Uh, Panama was secure as well, but the the the, the presence of you know, police officers here, um, and the people, the people are really genuine. It doesn't, you don't get to feel as if you're a target because you're an expat. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You get to feel everyone wants to take care of you. They want to, they want you to have an enjoyable stay in their home. They want to invite you into their home. Yeah. That's why. And, and more importantly, um, you know, we don't, we're not fluent Spanish speakers yet. <laughs> yes. Um, and although yes. it's, you know, it's it's very, Karen it's very. Karen is that. <laughs> Karen's like this that, close. That close, right? That close, right? Yeah. No, but I mean, it, you know, obviously, whenever you're in a foreign country, it's always it always beho- behooves you to learn the, to language. Um, but you yes, don't, definitely. you know, not knowing as much as we would like to know, we still are able to communicate well, and we're we're received well, even though we're still in the learning process, right, and that's right, very exactly. much appreciated. And it's just it's a very Every, welcoming. Everyone environment. tries to. Help us. Assist me in speaking right, Spanish, right? right, right. right? Exactly. They, they're, they're showing me different words to use. Right. And I'm very appreciative of yeah, that. And they're very so patient. I will learn it. Very patient. Yeah, no, no, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely. Very patient. Well, anyway, we're, we're going to go ahead and show some pictures um, of this beautiful property that you guys have closed on. It is we it's love ours. It. We love it. It's ours. We're just enjoying <laughs> ourselves. So, uh, Denise with um, Karen and Matt, and um, we know that. Um, you guys are going to have a wonderful, yes. wonderful life here in the Thank you. beautiful place that it's we It's already started. Have. It's already started. It has. Yeah, cheers. <laughs> there you go. <laughs>